Hello everyone, I'm Kavya Jayakuri, Manager for Student Affairs and Counseling at ICPM Campus, Sri Lanka. This video is going to be a quick demonstration for a frequently asked question by all university students on how to obtain the UGC recognition certification for their higher educational qualifications. First, let's look at what is UGC. UGC stands for University Grants Commission, which is an apex body in the university system in Sri Lanka. UGC has the power to recognize or de-recognize universities and their qualifications in the Sri Lankan context. Why is it important that you obtain the letter of recognition amidst the fact that your university is already listed under them? As I mentioned before, they have the power to recognize or de-recognize higher educational institutions and their qualifications at any given time. Therefore, it is important that you obtain the letter of recognition as and when your university is listed under them. Please note that this process is going to be the same for any qualification ranging from the diploma, bachelor's qualification, master's qualification and the doctorate qualification. So without further ado, let's look at the process in which you can obtain the letter of recognition from UGC Sri Lanka. First, you can type UGC on your Google search bar. Enter into the UGC website, tap on the home tab, scroll down to recognition letter, tap on the recognition of qualification icon. Here you can see there are two ways in which you can apply for the recognition letter. In this video, we are going to discuss how you can apply for the recognition letter online via the UGC website. To move your cursor to click here to online application and payment gateway. As you can see, here you can see the instructions in which you need to apply for the recognition letter. Read all of them carefully. You can start filling your personal information. Enter your full name as it is on your national identity card. Next, you can enter your candidate name as appearing on your certificate. Then you can enter your NIC or passport number. Next, select the country in which your degree certificate is from, Cambodia in this case. Next, you can fill the name of the university. IIC University of Technology The address of the university you can find directly from the university website Press on home tab Scroll down to the bottom of the page Here you can find the university address which you can directly copy paste Next, you can copy-paste the website URL. Move on to qualification details. Here, you can enter the name of the degree qualification. In this case, it's going to be B inch in Software Engineering. But this will vary according to your qualification. This could be BCom, BBA, BSc, DBA or even PhD. Next, you can select the duration of your degree qualification. For this qualification, it's going to be 3 years. Next, you can enter the reason as to why you're requesting for this recognition letter. This reason can vary from person to person, but in this case, we are going to enter for academic and professional verification purposes. Next, you can upload a small PDF document which contains your degree certificate, a copy of your degree certificate which is true copied by a lawyer or a JP, and a color copy of your NIC. Upload the document and then move on to contact details where initially you can enter your home address. Then you can enter your personal or work email address. 
Next, you can enter your telephone or mobile number. Next, you can enter your home telephone number. So once the form is completed, you have to agree on the declaration form. Press on I agree. Check your form once again if all your details are correct. If all your details are correct, you can now submit the form. Once you submit the form, you will be redirected to the payment gateway, where you can make the payment via Visa or MasterCard. Press on Pay. Select your payment method. Prior to selecting your payment method, you need to accept on the terms and conditions. Press on I accept and then select your payment method. Now you can proceed. You can see the amount is 2500 rupees. You can go on pay now. Now you can enter your card details, enter your card number, expiry date. CVC number, name on card. Now you can submit the form. A one time password will be sent into your mobile number or your email address. Enter your one-time password. Click Submit. All done. Now you can see on your screen that your application is now successful. You can take a screenshot of this pop-up for your future reference. After this procedure is done, the UGC letter will be sent to your email address and you can collect it from them later on.